What's up guys? Welcome to VHB Engines. Now, this video you're about to watch is not the video that some of you guys have been expecting. And, uh, and the reason for that is, is I feel that not enough people know exactly the details on this. Even though I've been trying to do my best to hype it up. <clears throat> I know that there's a the fair majority of you have missed it. And I also feel that this is... Uh, Fairly important information for you guys to know. It, it's in your all self-interest as well as it is for mine. Um, so, uh, I'm actually, actually, I think this is this little bit of information and details is so important that for this playlist, I'm not going to be playing it from uh, newest to oldest. I'm going to be playing it from oldest to newest. So that way, this video is the first one everybody sees in the lineup. Now, uh, the reason why I'm going to do this is because... Um, I felt that I was going to be able to put an inter introduction for this play this playlist in the first video that I was going to feature for the MR2, but I realized that it was probably going to take a little bit more talking than uh, than people want to hear. I don't want to make the video and then eight out of sixteen minutes be me doing this explaining what the hell this playlist is going to be. So I decided that uh, to split it up and to give you a better quality video for the MR2 K20 swap feature that I would make this as a trailer for the playlist, the playlist trailer. Yeah. So this little segment of VHB engines is going to be VHB feature videos. Uh, what I'm going to do in the feature videos is um, I'm going to talk about stuff that I haven't built. This whole channel is based on things that I've done personally myself. Uh, but I'm going to um, make this for the guys, for small YouTubers like myself, other small YouTubers like myself, the, to give them shout outs. Um, and also for the guys who are doing their backyard builds or their at home builds that uh, are doing things that are out of the box, not common or rare enough. I might even do some more common stuff if I feel that there's a good story to go with it. You know, I'm a big, big fan of the import magazines. I've been collecting them since uh, 2007 or 2008. All of them. Don't miss an issue. It was devastating for me when uh, Honda Tuning and a bunch of the other sister magazines went down. Uh, it was a sad day. Why? Because I, I, it's not so much about reading an article and like, this car has these mods. I like to see the story behind the builds too. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, when I'm cruising around the internet or cruising around YouTube or, where, or wherever, if I run into somebody who's um, got something I think is noteworthy, inspiring for people, or rare, that stands out, then I'm, I'll talk to that person, see if I can get pictures and videos and make a spotlight uh, for them and see if I can't shine some more attention on it their way. Um, and the same thing goes for YouTube shout outs. Now, this this goes for anybody. Uh, you don't even have to be subscribed to the channel. It's fine. Uh, if you're doing something you think is noteworthy, you want to run it by my inbox on Facebook or whatever, then feel free to do so. Uh, the only thing I can say is right now, uh, as present time stands, um, the channel is still really small. So the chances are of you guys getting your shine on is a lot higher than, say, maybe later on down the road when thousands of more people are subscribing and the inbox starts to fill up. Uh, believe it or not, my DMs are actually kind of full now. I mean, I'm not complaining about this at all. I like it. I appreciate it. I, I like to talk to you guys. I'm, this The thing that's different about this channel, unlike most of others, is I, I definitely will be taking the time to talk to every one of you guys, answer questions. So uh, keep filling the inbox up. I, I don't mind. Um, brings me close to you guys. Keeps me inspired to do things. People are paying attention. So, try not to I'm trying to make sure that I don't leave anything out. That's pretty much that pretty much is the gist of it. I already kind of put it out there in a the news video, but I see that there's 65 views out of 200 plus subscribers. So it's around about a quarter of you guys have actually watched it. Same thing with Facebook. I put it out there. I know some of you guys have seen it, but um, not everybody does. So I figured I'd put this on here to hopefully enlighten some of you guys to to shoot me some of your info, shoot me your pictures, your builds, your Instagrams, all that stuff. If you got something you think that you you know that people would like to see. And also um, 
was something I was thinking about recently that I wanted to touch on is that I know that this is so far 100% Honda content, but this is not a 100% Honda channel. It's a very deliberate reason that I didn't put VHB Honda engines, and if some of you think that the H somehow has Honda in it, it's not that. Um, it's not VHB Honda engines, it's VHB engines. I will be doing other engines. I have done Honda so far simply because of the fact that that's that's what I like playing with, you know, it's, I'm comfortable with the, the market there. I know how much to spend. I know how much I sh can make. So um, as a matter of fact, I've put out there recently that I have eyes on a 5.3 LS1. It's something I've been, I'm dying. I'm fucking dying to, to do American Muscle, you know. Plus, there's a, there's a whole bunch of guys in Ohio close to me that are selling KE24DEs and SR20s and stuff like that for real cheap. And I'm definitely going to step into... The Nissan world here this year, that's for sure going to happen this year. Although I, I really do want to get that LS first. And the guy I talked to at Salvage Yard has a supposed good engine that uh, that he wants 300 bucks for. And that, that's great. I'm fine with that. I just, you know, I'm going to get to it as soon as I can. All right. So I wanted to make this short. I don't want to ramble on too much. I know I have a tendency to do that. Um, so I'm um, just going to wrap it up here. Uh, for for any kind of personal inbox you want to do, if you want to do something that's outside of the comments, it's a little easier and faster to do. You can follow the link below to uh, to my Facebook or hit me up on Instagram. Either way, uh, that'll get you a direct line to me. If I don't answer you right away, it's because I can't. I'm driving or I'm in a meeting or some shit like that with work. Um, if you If you see that I see it, you know, I will always look at it because I'm always curious what you guys have to say. So, um... I'll look at your message, I'll read the message, go over it, come up with an answer. As soon as I have time, I'll get back to you guys. Don't feel shy to inbox me, guys. I don't feel like I'm any more special than any of you guys out there. And even if I know more stuff than you guys, I don't mind taking the time, even for the simple questions. As long as we can avoid repeating the same question in different words, I'm completely fine with you guys talking to me. Hit me up, guys. Hopefully this is the first video in what will be a long string of future features. Thanks for watching. Peace.